unto the Lord thy God. Tyler Perry is committing abomination. abomination. That's right. All that do so. Go ahead. Go ahead. A grown man. Mm. Preach it, brother. Put on a wig that looked like a woman. That's right. In this video, Pastor Gino Jennings speaks out against Tyler Perry's popular Medea character, which has sparked conversations in the community, especially within the black church. He questions the deeper implications of comedy, cross dressing, and biblical values. With Medea, Perry uses humor to address social issues, but Jennings argues that this approach conflicts with the Bible, calling it abhorrent and a dangerous influence on the values of the black community. As we explore this clash between faith and entertainment, we'll look at Jennings' criticism of Perry's influence, his financial ties to prominent religious leaders, and his call for the church to maintain its moral compass amid changing cultural norms. Check it out. The book says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. God said for a man, don't put on woman's clothes. How did God feel about a man putting on women clothes? For all that do so. No, they're a movie star. All that do so. Democrat. All that do so. Republican. All that do so. Sinner. All that do so. Entertainer. All that do so. Musician. All that do so. They're putting on a play. All that do so. All that do it. Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Tyler Perry is committing abomination. abomination. That's right. All that do so. Go ahead. Go ahead. A grown man. Mm. Preach it, brother. Put on a wig to look like a woman. That's right. Fake breasts to look like a woman. That's right. Fake hips to look like a woman. Amen. All that do so. Make mockery. Mm. And if you look at all his plays and movies, they always sent around somebody getting a new man and remarrying while the first wife or Still first living. husband is living. In other words, condoning divorce and justifying adultery. That's right. That's right. Amen. Why he run around like a woman, committing every time he step his feet in those stockings. My Lord. He's pulling up. Go, abomination. Abomination. That's right. Every time he put on that fake woman suit. Go ahead. He's putting on. Abomination. Abomination. Yeah. Every time his makeup artist paint his lips. Yeah. Abomination, abomination on his mouth. Right. Fake eyelashes. That's right. Abomination. That's right. Powder puff. Amen. Abomination. Yes. Slap the wig on. Mm. Abomination. Abomination. God said All everybody that do, so. that do it. All that do so. Talk to me. Are abomination. All that do so. All that do so. God said it. All that do so. When mm. movie stars, mm. men, yes. get dressed like women. Go ahead. It's an abomination. An abomination. You become rich mm. by blasphemy. That's right. And when you pay tickets to see it and you know what's going on, you are contributing to blasphemy. That's right. When you buy a DVD and you know what's on there, you contribute to blasphemy. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Not he that doeth the wrong. Go ahead. But he that have pleasure. Them that do it. And them that do it. What's funny about a grown man dressed like a woman? Amen. Abomination. Since when did abomination. Abomination. abomination become a joke? That's right. You can be damned for such. Go ahead. Go ahead. But because the Bible now has become a book of jokes. That's true. The devil know how to turn the minds of people. That's right. Make the Bible a book of jokes. That's right. So now stand up comedians. 
crack jokes, crack jokes about, about the Bible. That's right. Everybody falling out laughing. Laughing. But the great judge is coming. Yes. Who's gonna laugh? Go ahead. When the judge comes. Go ahead. By leveraging laughter. Tyler Perry navigates complex topics like gender identity, encouraging audiences to overlook concerns about supporting a man dressed as a woman. This comedic approach has not only gained widespread acceptance, but has also sparked deeper conversations about the intersections of entertainment, culture, and morality. Perry's cross-dressing, especially through his media character, is seen as challenging traditional values rooted in scripture, prompting questions about its impact on religious beliefs within the black community. For some, Perry's humor serves as a vehicle for social commentary, while others argue that it may mask the gravity of the underlying messages. This blend of comedy with significant societal topics encourages a closer examination of the balance between entertainment and responsible storytelling, particularly as it pertains to cultural and moral influence. Perry's impact on the acceptance of cross dressing within the black community is multifaceted. While his intentions may focus on entertainment and fostering understanding, the long-term effects on societal values and norms remain contentious. Perry has openly expressed his Christian faith, describing it as a guiding influence in his life. However, his close relationship with prominent church leader TDD Jakes including a substantial $1 million donation to Jake's church, has raised questions about the potential impact of such alliances on religious independence. Critics contend that large contributions from influential figures like Perry might blur the line between spiritual integrity and the allure of financial or social influence. This concern highlights the broader role of the church as a guardian of biblical teachings, charged with providing moral clarity while maintaining independence from societal trends. As cultural shifts challenge traditional views, the church is called upon to foster open dialogue, offering guidance rooted in scriptural values and encouraging informed, grounded faith within an evolving world. Next day you know you got your little son mm -hmm. putting on your shoes yeah. and your wig. Yeah. Look, mommy, Look I'm, mommy, I'm Tyler Perry. <laughs> That's right. Dang cute. Go ahead. He can grow up and become a crossdresser. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Didn't I tell you God's way? Go ahead. It's not like ours. It's not like ours. Go ahead. What's funny to us? Yes. It's a cuss to God eyes. Amen. What's a joke to us? Yes. It's abomination, abomination. to God. That's right. When a man in Hollywood mm. get dressed like a woman, mm. it's an abomination. Abomination. Your children don't get in school plays. Right. Where the boy get dressed like a girl. That's right. Or the girl get dressed like a boy. Amen. Or put on, or the girl put on boy's apparel, or the boy put on girl's apparel. No! That's right. If you don't dress your children like that at home, don't you dare let some cheap school district dress them up like that to entertain them. Go ahead. This is old-fashioned preaching. Oh, yeah. Mm. There is a way. Is a way. Which seemeth right unto a man. And you know what people would say? Pastor Jennings is too radical. And fools make a mock at sin. Do you hear this? In Proverbs 14 and verse 9. Proverbs 14 and 9 says, Fools well, make a mock. Who do it? Fools. Who? Fools. Who? Fools. But they're millionaires. Fools. They got Emmys. Fools. Grammys. Fools. Made five million that year. Fools. Got a Bentley. Fools. Maybach. Fools. Rolls. Fools. Ferrari. Fools. Porsche. Fools. Got a mansion. Fools. Yacht. Fools. On Time Magazine. Fools. In Forbes. Fools. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Got a Swiss bank account. Fools. Bank account in the Cayman Islands. Fools. In the Bahamas. Fools. They white. Fools. Black. Fools. Brown. Fools. Yellow. Fools. Short. Fools. Fat. Fools. Tall. Fools. That's right. Amen. This discussion challenges us to reflect on the balance between 
entertainment and moral responsibility and the importance of the church as a steadfast guide offering clarity and conviction in a world that is constantly evolving as audiences we are encouraged to look beyond the laughter and consider the impact of what we support striving for a faith that remains both compassionate and true to its core beliefs what do you think of this complicated and thoughtful conversation about tyler perry's impact on black culture comedy and the church let us know in the comments stay blessed